Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Saturday, Monday, August 7. is being celebrated as Independence Day in Jamaica. The law state that if the public holidays, Labor Day, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, Emancipation Day or Independence Day falls on a Sunday. The Monday will be recognized as the public holiday. A subscriber had asked, what if they work yesterday? Would she be paid double pay? The answer is no. If you work today, you'll be paid the double pay and that is the law. So, nobody cuss your employers that them wicked because you work yesterday and you were not paid double pay. Today is the double pay day. Got it? Now, in the news today, Ahudlum is lucky to be alive and the St. James police, they are searching for another hoodlum. This is due to an incident that took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, August 6, about some minutes to 3 o'clock. It took place at 3rd Street in the Canaan District area of St. James. We are learning that a well-known hoodlum in the area. He is popularly known as Fishhook. Fishhook is said to be in his mid-30s. He was walking along the roadway when a white Nissan Tida motor car drove up and stopped. We are told that another hoodlum, known as Sochi, he was driving the Nissan Tida motor car. The Nissan Tida, it stopped beside Fishhook. We are told that another hoodlum jumped out of the car from the back left passenger seat with a gun in his hand. The hoodlum pointed the gun at Fishhook, but Fishhook, he grabbed onto the hoodlum and a struggle ensued. We are told that the hoodlum, he managed to squeeze off a round. Fishhook, he ran off and the hoodlum fired a barrage of gunshots at him. Fishhook, he escaped without being shot. The hoodlum, he then boarded the Nissan Tida and he and Sochi made good their escape. We are told that the police, they were informed and when they processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So Sochi and his crony, they are now wanted by the police. In this next incident, it took place early yesterday morning. Sunday, August 6, about 3 o'clock. It took place at an apartment building along the Norman Mali Boulevard. That's the Beach Road in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a well-known Chinese businessman, he was in his apartment sleeping when six hoodlums went there. This Chinese businessman, he's living on the upper floor of the apartment building. We are told that the hoodlums, they used a ladder to climb to the upper floor, then removed the mesh from the kitchen window and entered the apartment. The Chinese businessman, he was asleep when he was awoken by strange sounds coming from in the hall. The hoodlums, they then kicked off the bedroom door. Two of the hoodlums, they were armed with guns and the others, they were armed with knives. We are told that the hoodlums... They threatened to kill the Chinese businessman. They then proceeded to rob him of a large amount of cash and jewelry as also a number of cellular phones. We are told that the hoodlums, they also stole a number of other valuables. They then made good their escape. Now, <laughs> that's six hoodlums. That's Negril. Why may I tell you? Now, yesterday... I brought you a story about Welton Graham. Even though I told you that his photo was on the screen, a mistake was made and his photo was not included. Well, for the persons who are asking, there is Willie's photo on your screen. He was shot and killed in a shop in the Cousins Cove area of Hanover Saturday night. Willie, he was in the shop having a drink when a motorcycle rode up with 
two hoodlums aboard. The hoodlums, they shot and killed Welly in the bar. They then escaped on the said motorcycle. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, this one took place last night. Sunday, August 6th, about some minutes to 10 o'clock. It took place at Rose Street in the Whitehall area of the Grill in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a group of persons were standing along the roadway. Among the group of persons was that guy on your screen. His name is Daniel Gunter, but he's popularly known as Bill. Just last month, July 7th, Bill, he celebrated his 23rd birthday. He lived in the same Whitehall area of Negril. So, Bill and other guys, they were standing along the roadway when a grey Nissan Tida motor car drove up and stopped the hoodlums in the car. They opened gunfire at the guys who were standing on the road. We are told that they ran off in various directions. The hoodlums, they then drove away in the same Nissan Tida motor car, making good their escape. When the shooting subsided, Bill, he was seen on his back in a pool of blood with what appears to be gunshot wounds to his abdomen, his chest and his left arm. Another guy, he's in his early 20s and he's living in the same area. He received gunshot wounds to his upper back. From all indication, Bill, he died on the spot. The other guy, he was rushed to a nearby hospital by a residence where he was admitted in a serious condition. The police were called and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, 10 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, that guy on your screen, his name is Marvin Thompson, but he was popularly known as Fata. Fata is 45 years old. Fata, he was living in New York in the United States of America. He's said to be a green card holder. Whilst he was in the United States, we are told that he was doing construction work. Fata returned to Jamaica last year and he got married. We are also told that he bought a water truck that he was driving. He lived at Chester Castle in the Ramble Police area in the parish of Hanover. We are learning that yesterday, Sunday, August 6. Fata, he was on the road driving his water truck and delivering water. He reached home last night about 9 o'clock and he parked his truck but from all indication, a hoodlum was in the area waiting on Fata. Fata, he was pounced on by this hoodlum who opened a barrage of gunshots at him, hitting him in his head and his upper body. Fata fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he made good his escape. The police, they were informed and when they went on the scene, from all indication, Fata, he died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 13, 1, 3, 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, that guy on your screen, his name is O'Neill Mandison. O'Neill, he was born on April 28, 2000. O'Neill was a customer service rep and he was employed to IBX and he was living at Orion Drive in the Gregory Park area of Portmore. So, let me give you a little history about O'Neill. O'Neill, he had two other brothers. We are told that at a tender age, their mother and father broke up. As a result, their mother moved out of the house. We are told that the three brothers, they basically grew themselves because their father, he was all over the place with different women. We are told that on Saturday, May 7, last year, one of O'Neill's brothers, his name is Kevin Mandison, but he was popularly known as Smokey. He was shot and killed by hoodlums in the Hamilton Gardens area of Portmore. Our information is that yesterday morning, Sunday, August 6, about some minutes to 10 o'clock, 
O'Neill and a female relative. She's in her early 50s and she's said to be a janitor. They were at home when they were attacked by hoodlums. From all indication, O'Neill was the target. The hoodlums, they brandished guns and they opened gunfire at O'Neill, hitting him in his abdomen, his chest and his face. The female relative, she was also hit. She received gunshot wounds to her right leg. From all indication, O'Neill, he died on the spot. The lady, she was rushed to a nearby hospital where she was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 10 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. Remember, you know, we are on our way to 200,000 subscribers. We are hoping to reach there before my birthday on September 1. So tell a friend. If you tell a friend, if you come over, yes, so come subscribe. All right. Now, in the final story for today, listen to this one now. This one have senseless killing written all over it. This one have ego written all over it. This one, listen to this. For a while now, all kind of mayhems are being committed in the Macquarie district area of Hopewell in the parish of Hanover. As a result, it's all about who upon which side and who have up who yesterday afternoon sunday august 6 about three o'clock a guy his name is adrian williams but he's popularly known as bell he was born on april 9 2002 just 21 years old he lived in the macquarie district area of Wopwell. we are told that bell he was driving a silver toyota axio motor car along the macquarie main road he was heading towards hopewell now that road that bell was driving on we are told that it is very narrow on reaching a section along the road right in front of a shop and a guy named brandon thompson also known as alex yard and nissan ad wagon motor car it was parked along the roadway we are told that bell he blew his car horn indicating to Alex for him to close the car door. Alex, he come out of the car and he still did not close the car door. We are told that Bell, he shouted to Alex, I'll lick your arm and lick off your car door. Our information is that Alex, him kissed him teeth and he walked into his yard where his Audi motor car was parked. We are told that Alex, he opened the trunk for the Audi and picked up a bag that was in the trunk of the car. We are told that Alex, he took something out of the bag. All this time, Bell, he was still trying to pass without touching Alex's car door. Alex, he then walked up to Bell who was still in his car and it was now realized that it was a gun that he took out of the Audi. He put the gun to Bell's head and squeezed bam and that was it for bell we are told that after that alex he went into the crossroad where he fired more shots bell he was rushed to the Cornwall regional hospital by family members where he was pronounced d-e-a-d -E on arrival we are told that alex he has since fled the area but persons who are associated with Bell. They are vowing vengeance. They are saying that this na goso. We are also learning that there was another shooting in the same Macquarie district area this morning about 10 o'clock. We are not yet sure if this shooting is related to the incident yesterday but 
a guy. He said to be in his late 20s. He was attacked and shot by hoodlums. He received gunshot wounds to his left foot. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. I'm gathering the details and will certainly be updating this story in a subsequent video. In the meantime, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sing. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the 